Hello, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. You know who I am, Adam Lewis. You're watching Adam Lewis TV here on, you know, YouTube. So wanted to talk a little bit more about AMC today. A little. Encouragement. A little enthusiasm you should have, whether you know it or not. I don't know who else is talking about this, I really don't care. But you need to be excited still and hold the. Keep the faith, so to speak. Let's talk about it. Come on in. So I just got off work in long day, I'm up early in the morning. I don't go to sleep sometimes till 12 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, this has been a long day. I'm chilling out on the outback here having a little. Little coffee to keep me going a little bit so I could talk to you and share some insight and love but really I want to talk about AMC. My AMC stock price prediction is still mega sick, 50,000 plus. And I'll tell you why. First of all, think of all the hedge funds, what they're doing right now just to get you to sell, just to try to make you sell. They've been doing it psychological, sales technique and all sorts of stuff they've been doing for quite a while, right? We know this. Just look at the comment section below in my comment section and other YouTubers that are talking AMC, they're disgusting and I used to think those are individuals you know that are actually. Who's got time? Whose life sucks that bad that you have to go into a YouTube video and drop some hate? You know what I mean? If that's you, you suck. Get a life. I'd hate to be your family and friends, if you even have any. But as we know, these hedge funds want us out. They want us out. And they'll do anything. They got so much money and so many. The banks are tied in with them. They got so much money, so many people have a lot to lose. If we win. And I'm cool with that. Because it's time for us. Apes us bottom feeders, you know what I mean? Though we work our off. I don't know about you but I work my off. And I'll tell you a story about that in just a second. I work my off for a living. Every penny I make, I earn, right? How about you? And we want a little piece of the American dream, so we drop a little coin. And say AMC, because we think it's gonna rock and roll or Tesla or whatever it might be in hopes that and then retail. All the time usually ends up getting getting shafted right up the yahoo. The yahoo. The poo-poo, you know what I mean? And that's not cool. It's kind of like, you know, the American dream. Buy a house, right? Well, buying a house. Who's making money on a house? The developers. The builders aren't even making money. It's the banks. They got you locked in for 30 years. Man. I probably never buy in a house for myself. If I buy real estate, which I, I will in the future, it's going to be land. It's going to be apartment complexes, multifamily units, where I can have a positive cash flow. Let them pay the mortgage, you know. Let them pay the bills and still have a positive cash flow. You get enough of those together. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor but you know what I mean. You get enough of those together for yourself. You got a positive cash flow. You can lease a gorgeous condo in the sky somewhere, and with a lease, you're not tied to that. You can walk away from that whenever you want. Right. But back to my point, these hedge funds are backed by so much money and they got so many resources. They are literally having they have a war room, I'm sure of it. How can it not be? the drop in comments. And I know it's them because when I respond to the comments, they never get back. You know what I mean? If you've responded to some of those comments, they never get back to you. Let me know in the comments section below. Let me know what you think about that. Are these hedge funds dropping robotic comments or just generic hate comments just to dissuade and discourage the viewers? You. To get out of AMC, I'm not getting out that I'm not getting out. Here's a little here's a little piece of info I found today as a matter of fact. Over the course of the year 2022, 
the volume of trading of buying and selling. AMC, AMC, is in the billions. So if that's in fact the case, why is the price $7? Ha! Huh. Come on, man, come on man. The glitch that FINRA had what, last week? This stock is trading at 150 grand a share. I have no, I believe that. Call me crazy. I don't care. That's what I believe. We know what's happening in the underworld. This, this stock is when this thing rips, it's going to rip. Okay, AMC's just made a deal with Netflix for something coming out in October. In Thanksgiving. That. Come on, man. Nothing but good things happening with this ape that they unleashed on us basically made us pay their bills. I don't like that too much, but hopefully the intention of having ape to count the shares is legit and well, that's a whole nother issue. But out of air needed to, you know, pay the bills to make AMC strong. If AMC strong, they can't go out of business. They've been around since 1920. I said it before, I'll say it again. Patience is a virtue. The stock market and Wall Street was designed to transfer wealth. From the inpatient to the patient. And that's it. That's it, diamonds. Are made. By sand. Takes them hundreds of years. Thousands of years or more, right? I don't know. I'm not a geologist. But they're under such pressure. And they come out of beautiful diamond. Takes takes time. This is not getting money, getting rich, getting paid whatever with AMC is not going to happen in our time, in our the way we want it to. It's going to happen on there, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I know it, you know it, and they know. And I wanna thank you for dropping comments and letting me know via email how you think about this and thanking me for doing these videos they do, just to kind of keep your spirits alive, you know, because it, it works for me. When I start looking at Reddit post and when I start talking with other people and then very rarely am I on YouTube anymore because it's the same. Crap. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. I'm doing videos regularly, but I'm doing it in a different for a different reason, you know? I'm doing it to two. It's not two-thirds videos a day of the same garbage, you know what I mean? At least I think I bring a little value to the table. And if you think so too, please smash that like button, wherever that might be. Smash the like button down there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to do. I think sometime, maybe over the weekend. It's been very busy for me, but I'm going to do an XRP video. On my thoughts on XRP. What XRP is, what Ripple is, what's going on with this lawsuit with the government. I think you'll like it. You know, but we gotta wait. We gotta wait. This is not an overnight success story. This is something that's there's so many factors involved. And again, billions upon billions of shares have been traded. On AMC alone in the year 2022. Come on, you know what I mean? Like, really? And that's factual. And the price is still 7 bucks. It's called high frequency trading. Okay, like I said before in another video, try that. Good, do it again. Okay. So it's high frequency trading they have. They have at their disposal mega computers with mega algorithms. That just ping pong this 100,000 times a day. And that's how they keep it at the numbers, you know. And. They're backed by a lot of money. A lot of juice in the government. They're all a part of it. So, but we caught on to it, so we're we're hip. Not financial advice but all I'm doing is holding my AMC position. I'm not selling at this point. I'm not selling until I find multiple tens of thousands of dollars per share. That's me because I'm just like you. I don't know who you are personally because you know we're not talking like a normal conversation, but I'm just a guy working a job, man. I'm just busting hump to get through to the next day. 
and sometimes it's paycheck to paycheck. In a commission job, if you've got one, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're working 9 to 5 o'clock for for a company, a corporation, God bless you, man. It's it's tough. It's tough, especially the way the economy is. Let me tell you what just happened to make the lease on this place. This place. Nice spot. Not cheap. I'm in Florida, South Florida right now. The lease is up in a few months. The landlord. Says to me we're jacking the run up 600 bucks. 600 in addition to what I'm paying now. Are you at your rapid? I mean, really? Don't get me wrong. I make money. I'm comfortable. A matter of principle at this point. And I've been watching a lot of videos on this too. Is that nomadic life? There's people out there living in buses, vans and coaches and... Priuses. Really? Some of them.